Welcome! In front of me I have Polar Vantage V and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, there is two methods of pairing this watch with a phone. The first method is to do it during the setup process of the watch. So basically, if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it uh, via the settings after the watch has been already set up. First, I'm gonna show you the during the setup method or during the setup process method. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. So, uh, first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. You can do it by pressing and holding the OK button for a couple of seconds or by plugging the watch into a charger. After the watch turns on, we need to download and install the Polar Flow application on our phone. So let's open the Play Store on our phone, tap on search, uh, type in uh, Polar Flow. And then tap search. Now you should see the page for the Polar Flow application. You can tap on the install button to install it. And let's wait until the application is done installing. Once the application is done installing, we can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, we can tap on accept, close this, tap on OK, and now we can allow or deny the permission for the location. It's recommended to allow it, but you can also deny it. The app will be trying to convince you to allow the uh, permission for the location for all the time. I'm just going to be persistent and keep denying it until the app gives up. It takes, I be believe, a couple of times. Once you're done with the permissions, you should see the welcome screen. Now, it's a good time to check if the Bluetooth is enabled on our phone. As you can see, it is. If the Bluetooth is enabled, we can continue. And now we can log in or create a new account. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. But if you need to have to create an account, tap on create account. Tap, uh, if you want to log in, tap on sign in, tap right here. Uh, type an email address, then password. and then tap sign in to continue. After you log in, you might need to set up your profile or physical settings and then tap on continue. Right here, we can uh, go get the advice about how to set up device or tap on skip. I'm gonna tap on skip. And we are in the Polar app, as you can see. Now we can tap on the menu icon, tap on devices, And for some reason, it doesn't want to go into devices. That's weird. Let's try again. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of weird because it should open the devices, but maybe something is bugging out. So let's not open the devices yet. Now let's go to our watch. And uh, on our watch, after it turns on, if it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see um, the list of languages. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen, uh, find the language you like to use on your watch, and then tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we can uh, uh, choose uh, how do we like to set up our watch. And we have on your phone, on your computer, on your watch. We want to use the on your phone option. So you can tap on it. And now the app entered the device. So basically it was a bit buggy, but once you tap on device, you should see this screen on the app. And now you can enter the pairing mode on your uh, watch. So tap on your phone. And the watch entered the pairing mode. The app detected the watch. Tap on start. Now tap on pair and connect. Tap on the check mark to confirm. Tap on pair right here. Right here we can set up some settings for our watch, like time format, uh, on which wrist we're wearing the watch, in the language of the watch, and also preferred, this, uh, preferred sleep time. Set up the settings to your liking, then tap on save and sync. 
We can also go through the introduction of our watch. We can go and see how to use it. I'm just gonna tap on skip, but if you want to, you can go through it. And now we need to wait until the watch is done syncing with our phone. And once the watch is done syncing, you can open the menu, tap on devices, and you should see the, your Vantage V on the list right here. And as you can see, we can change a couple of things right here for on the device page for it. But this means that the watch is paired with our phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.